Yo, the yo, what's up? This your boy Prince Mizani. Mizani Tsunami. And I ain't been on YouTube in a minute. I ain't been making videos, but mad stuff been going on. I've been doing it with a lot, you know, a whole bunch of stuff. So I'm about to start making a video again. And um, as you can see, I just posted up a video about well, it wasn't a video like a me talking, whatever, but it was like a little I live down here in Columbia, South Carolina. So I was over there at the um, you know, they had the little KKK rally and the Black Panthers and all that. So I went out there and um now I didn't go out there for no damn flag. I'm, I'm not worried about no flag. No flag is gonna make me or break me. I know that Confederate flag, a lot of people feel some type of way about it because of their ancestors and they had to get hung and lynched and all that and they seen that stuff. Listen, that flag only has power if you give it power. So in my mind, that flag is just a goddamn piece of cloth. It ain't nothing. But you know, if people still feel how they feel about it and they wanted to take it down or whatever, but I didn't go out there for the flag. I went out there to see what actually was going on, you know what I'm saying? And um, while, while, I'm, while I was out there, I made a I made a video about it because I got this song called Locked Down, Locked Up, Locked Down. They got my people locked up, they got my people locked down. And I thought it was a brilliant idea of like, you know what, let me go out there and catch some raw footage of what's going on. Uh, Black Panthers, KKK, things, uh, it was blood, there's a whole bunch of people out there, Bloods, uh, it was, it was just a... There's a lot of people out there, so I was like, you know what, I'm going to go out here and try to capture some of this footage. Now, the footage that I got for the video, it ain't really too much because the guy that was recording it, he got damn going to drink. He getting drunk 10, 30, 11, 30 in the morning, so a lot of the footage is messed up, but I had to scrabble what I got, take what I got, savage what I got, and make it into something. So, that little snippet that y'all see of that music video, Lockdown. It's all the footage that I can savage. You know what I'm saying? I put it together myself or whatever, but I'm still trying to get more footage, more raw footage of real things that's happening in the community. None of that stuff was staged that you seen over there um, in that video. So I just captured whatever I could capture and put it in the video. I'm trying to get more stuff, more police brutality, more corruption in our neighborhood and trying to make a visual out of it, show the world, even though the world already know what's going on because there's internet and all the stuff out here, but a lot of people is ignorant or a lot of people is scared. So they need that one soldier that one person that could hope, that could, that, that, that could give them hope, that could help them, encourage them to stand up for themselves, to be strong, be, you know what I'm saying? So that's what I'm trying to do. But, uh, yeah, the KKK rally, the Black Panther rally, it was, it was, in the beginning, it was, a uh, it was a little, not too much people. I went out there probably about 10.30, 11.30. It wasn't too much people out there. Then it started picking up. The Black Panthers was definitely out there. And, um, there was a lot of, people who felt how they felt about the flag you had uh europeans you had caucasians who were holding up their signs saying f the kkk and this is racism and you had a lot of them out there they was they was in they wanted the flag down too so it was a nice little turnout then you had your the so-called kkk members they came towards the end with their confederate flags and they wasn't having this and they wasn't having that and they started marching they started saying one thing's too many then a whole bunch of you know it just got crazy it got crazy down there, but like I said, that's not my concern or forte or I'm not on that low vibrational frequency level to be fighting over a flag. I'm not saying none of y'all out there is lower than me or I'm better than any of y'all, but I, I know how to think. I know how to use my brain. I'm not about to be out here fighting over a flag. I don't give a damn about how somebody else is feel about me. I don't give a damn what else somebody simple put up, what symbol they put up to try to program my mind and make me feel some type of way about myself or try to make me have flashbacks or remember I don't give a damn about what anybody else is doing as long as I'm doing what I need to do then I'll be straight and that's our biggest problem we not doing what we supposed to be doing as a people we too busy worried about what they doing to us and what they telling us to do and how they feel about us that we love and they madness now we telling them to take their goddamn flag down and and um hold on one second Now we telling them to take their goddamn flag down. And um our situation is still the same. We need to be worried about what we're gonna do as a people, how we gonna get out of the situation we in, how we gonna do this, how we gonna start schools, how we gonna we don't even get together and um build on communities on our schools and everything. We just get together and wanna I mean we did get together and come together and try to fight for that, but that's that's so off 
out of the equation. That's just left of what's really going on. That flag is a distraction. It's not really what you're supposed to be worried about. They using y'all. They playing with y'all. They playing chess with y'all. They baiting y'all. This man just killed nine people in the church. Okay, now let's blow up the Confederate flag and say the Confederate flag got to get taken down. So now y'all mad and protesting and marching over a flag. Fuck that flag. What are we going to do as a people? How can we defend ourselves? How can we keep any of this stuff from happening? Fuck a flag. The flag don't mean shit. The flag down. It's still going on. People still getting killed. People still getting killed left and right and the flag down. So what did that flag really prove? You got to start thinking. You know what I'm saying? You got to start using your head, using your brains. When we fighting each other, it's all good. We kill each other left and right. But when somebody else try to kill us, now y'all want to unite? We should always be united. We should always be in our communities dictating what's going on. That's why That's why we're so low. We don't have no alpha males. We don't have no mothers, no no real mothers in our communities. No alpha women, no no alpha males. You know what I'm saying? No alpha females that's dictating what's going on. Back in the days, you know, you had your grandmother and your grandfather. Even if you didn't have a grandmother grandfather, it was a, it was one person in that neighborhood, in that community, that everybody looked up to that was an alpha male that had some that had some respect you know not to do certain things around this person you know, you know what i'm saying nowadays anything goes and everybody got a voice everybody got opinion but nobody's thinking they're just responding to stimulus they're just responding to what they put on the television i just responding to what they put on the tv and that's it i mean it's a small step but it's a small step in the wrong direction they are not the problem we the problem we need to fix us we need to fix us all day long that's it you shouldn't be worried about if you got some haters out there hating on you why are you worried about them haters forget them haters you should do you make you happy keep doing you they're gonna hate all day long you're gonna have people that love you and you're gonna have people that hate you that's just what it is i'm not about to be out here worried about somebody that's hating me oh why are you just like that i don't give a damn what you think i'm just like this because i want to just like you i'm just like this i'm doing this oh we got a flag because we don't like the way you dress i don't give a damn put your flag i'm still gonna do me before that flag was taken down, people still was going to work day to day, driving past the flags, doing whatever they're doing. Flags down now. Y'all still going to work day to day, still doing the same shit. So it didn't really accomplish nothing. But I get your point. I get where you was coming from with it. But we got real shit to do. We can't even get a clean glass of water. We have no farmland. We don't have nothing. We fuck a flag. A flag ain't about to feed nobody. That shit ain't about to stop nothing. It's all this killing still going on. But yeah, I got that off your chest, so it's cool. The flag is down now. Now what? That's my real question. Now what? What y'all gonna do now? Oh yeah. You ain't think that far yet. You just got to the flag. You just you just did what they told you to do. They playing with y'all like chess. They playing with y'all. They say march, y'all march. They say jump, y'all jump. They say riot, y'all riot. They say protest, y'all protest. Y'all not thinking for yourselves. They thinking for y'all. makes sense don't it so yeah but i'm still going to try to do this music video try to finish it up i want to go to new york and i want to go to atlanta to get more footage more raw footage of just stuff going on in the neighborhoods police brutality people getting locked up just whatever and have it in the have it in the video so is there anybody out there that can help that um that has resources that um anything you know i don't give a damn whether if you're a photographer videographer if, if you're trying to donate whatever you can do to help I'm all about help because united we stand, divided we fall. The team wreck make the dream work. That's my mission on the planet. You know what I'm saying? Restore peace and balance to the world. One day at a time. So that's what I've been doing. You know what I'm saying? Trying to do it the best way I know how. But y'all definitely got to get off the television and stop worrying about what other people are saying and stop letting them dictate y'all moves. You know what I'm saying? Um, What else I want to talk about? I want to hit the topic on... Um, Oh, the, the 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 young black lady who got young melanin lady who got killed in um Texas, Sandra. You see what I'm saying? This this is the type of stuff that we can't let happen to us. These people have the biggest army in the world, and they all stick together and ride for each other. We hate each other so much, but when they try to play us, now we want to stick together. We should then be sticking together. This lady got killed for nothing. Whether that flag was up, whether that flag is down, all this stuff is still popping off on the world. How are we going to stop these people from coming into our neighborhoods, from pulling us over, from killing us, from lynching us? How are we going to stop this? We only unite when it's a barbecue. We only get together when it's a, when it's a cookout, when it's a playoff game. It's the only time we get together. We don't sit down and, and build. We don't sit down 
and invest our money into our freedom. We could all get the fuck. We don't even have to be on their land. We could get the fuck up out of here. This our land, but we could get the we could let them have this bullshit. We could get the fuck up out of here. We don't have to deal with none of this. But y'all want to deal with this. Y'all's comfortable where you're at because y'all want their lifestyles, which is black. Y'all want their businesses, which is black. Y'all want their wealth, their money, which is black. Y'all want their fame, which is black owned. Like, y'all want the same thing they had, but just black. That don't make no sense. I don't want shit they got. I don't want their women. I don't want none of this shit. I don't want their clothes. I don't want their fame. I don't want their money. I don't want none of that shit. This is why they can't do nothing to me. This is why they can't mess with me because I don't want none of their shit. I don't need none of their shit. I'm satisfied and happy with me, with the way I feel, with the way I dress, with the way I talk, with the way I eat. I'm happy and satisfied with that. Y'all want their stuff. So y'all gonna go through whatever they put y'all through. A lot of people protesting and all that. Yeah, take the flag down. Fuck the flag. But then y'all go work for these people the next day. What was What was the point? If you're going to do that, pull all the way out the system. If all of us just put one dollar together, there's a million black people in the goddamn world. If we all just put one dollar together, we have a million dollars. And we can pull out the system and create our own stuff. Look at all the stuff we create around the planet. They can't even survive without us. We work their jobs. We work their labor. We work the bottom scum jobs and do all this stuff. So basically, we keep their businesses up. If we leave, all they businesses fall. Everything will crash. Y'all not thinking. Y'all thinking, oh, let's just take the flag down and still be a slave. No, fuck that. Fuck that flag. Let them keep their flag up. I don't give a fuck about what they talking about. And let's all pull out this shit. Let's all get the fuck up and put our money together. Get the fuck up out of here. And do some real shit. Get some farmland. Become from motherfucking farmers. No, because y'all still want to be in their schools. Y'all still want to flash on their TVs. Y'all still want to style on their cars. Y'all not serious about what's going on. Because y'all not thinking. I got some business to attend to. But it's a short little video. I'll be back on here probably later to try to get up with y'all and talk some stuff. But y'all take it easy. Peace and love.